taking my time to get perfection sometimes. You got me feeling so weightless. Top of line, I'll be taking my time to get perfection sometimes. I need to just take a ride away. Good day today, people. So, this is just an update what's been happening over the last few weeks and so on. Has I had any videos up recently? So, first thing is, CBR's gone. Just didn't have time for it and I was just rushing it and that. And all the bits and that just in my way. I still got the Virago 535 that is still here and I still got the Storm as well. Uh, it's sat the, the 10th of, of October, I think. So, most of the day today I have spent cleaning my shed. Getting everything out, cleaning it all up, getting it ready. So, projects. Project, long term project is the storm. That, that's just going to just evolve as it goes over the years. Uh, next one is going to be, well, the main one is going to be the Revago 535. That is going to be chopped, bobber. Uh, I tailed it at the back and all that. Uh, let me just move you around. So there we go. That is the 535. Like I say, that is going to be our tailed back end all chopped off, all redone. The tank, what, so the bottom tank, that's been all removed and everything. Uh, I am looking at replacing the top tank. Uh, I want a coffin tank or something like that. Uh, looking at extending the front forks as well. Uh, like I say, that is going to be a long term. I ain't started it in a few months. It was running shit on the front cylinder. Uh, I need to do a compression test on it. I don't know if the piston ring's going on it or whatever. But it did run, and it ran quite nippy as well, especially with the single carb conversion. Uh, the single carb conversion is staying, but I might be ripping the engine out as well. Uh, just checking all the piston rings and everything else in it, making sure everything else is all good. As you probably see in the last, well, in previous vids, I have done the starter clutch on it. I have done quite enough work on it, so. Yeah, I might just do an engine complete rebuild on it. Yeah, it's all going to change. I don't know if it's going to be still a rat at the end. Uh, not sure yet. Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure if it's going to be a rat. I do like it, don't get me wrong. Suicide shift staying. Uh, I am looking at putting a foot clutch on it though. So yeah, that's going to be the project coming up. I do have a MIG welder now. Just brought a MIG welder. Uh, so I've got a MIG and an alt welder. I think the next thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do myself a motorbike workbench just to get the Virgo off the floor by about two, three foot just to get it up. Uh, put it on wheels as well so I can move it around as I want to keep the storm in the back away from all the rolling and cutting and grinding and all that crap so that don't get damaged and the front isn't mainly my workshop well the work's going to happen but I want to be able to move the 535 out of the way so I can get the storm in and out nicely so yeah that's going to be coming up like I say I didn't want workbench about two or three foot up just so I can sit on a stool work on a bike and that so I'm not on my knees on the floor trying to sort it out uh, can't go too high as my roof is low in the middle here is about six and a half foot goes down to about five foot so yeah I'd probably go another foot up Foot and a half foot for the bike. 
So, we'll see how we go with that. Uh, the Batis are still sat there doing nothing, waiting for the son-in-law to start sending some money through. So, I've got the work done on that. Uh, what else is the? I want to keep dropping services and brakes and whatever I do on other people's cars. We'll drop the odd video on here. Next year, I'm looking at doing a timing belt on the Vauxhall Mocker as well. That's going to be a big job, but that need, that's going to need doing. I think got another 20,000 before it's due. So that'll be next year. Yeah, so, I say, it's been hard. With all the projects and everything else. Get life, work with this COVID thing as well. It's just been really hard. Especially to get the videos out and all that as well. Uh, as you can probably tell. Let me show you, let me show you. Belly is not as big now. Lost four stone. Been on a carnivore diet. Lost four stone so far. Diabetes is dropped well down. Normal levels bonus. So that's going well. I do have a channel on that as well. Uh, I will drop the link below if you're interested in watching it. It's just about me losing weight, what I'm eating, and so on. There's only a few videos on it. Been doing it nine weeks now. Four stone in nine weeks. No exercise, bonus, just work, partner around, so on. Uh, what else is to tell you? Nothing much, really. like I say, it's just life and everything's got in the way at the moment. So the winter project is going to be the 535 and a few bits on the storm needs doing. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there for today. I say the workbench will be coming up soon. I'm just gonna order some wood, get some wood in and that. Hopefully some work will be done on the Matiz as well. Hopefully. But we'll soon see. See you in the next vid. Stay safe. Have a good one.